All right, sorry for going handheld here, but there's uh, really no room. It's kind of tight. So this is the workstation that I use for uh, controlling my laser engraver, my Xtool D1 Pro. Um, and under the cover there, right there, is a uh, CNC micro engraver, uh, which I need to get working again. So that's the reason this workstation was originally here. Um, but um, so that is on the right hand side of my garage and I come around this way you can see here's my lathe goes over there and there's the laser engraver so it's uh, too long for a USB cable to run from the computer over there so I'm going to be installing a they call them wireless but maybe not wireless but anyway it's a USB extender that uses an Ethernet cable so uh, yeah so let's take a look at that I've got it in a box over there So this is the USB extender kit I bought. So, pretty simple. Two little boxes. <clears throat> one plugs into the computer. One goes at the end of an Ethernet cable. Which, uh, I forgot how long they said that you can extend. 165 feet. So they seem to be pretty well made little little boxes. So the Ethernet cable plugs in here, power supply here, and then you've got four USB ports coming out. comes with a power supply and one USB cable. So I need to go dig up an Ethernet cable. I'm sure I've got one somewhere in my stash of cables. Uh, mounting brackets, cable ties, and the adapter to plug into North American outlets. So this side, USB in, Ethernet out. Can't get much simpler than that. So let's set this thing up and see how it works. Alright, so I was going to just use an existing Ethernet cable, but I can't find any. So I'll make one. I've got a whole box of, what is this, Cat5e, which is plenty good to substitute for a USB cable. So... hardest part about this is ah, that is one thing accidentally cutting the one of the conductors let's try it again and then the second hardest part is just getting all these little twisted pair of wires routed to the appropriate pin. So it goes 
orange with a white stripe, then orange, then green with a stripe. I guess it doesn't really matter because it's the same on both ends. Then blue. Blue with a white stripe, green, brown with a white stripe, and brown. So, there we go. Now, kind of bunch those up together. Make sure we've got them in the right order still and as you feed them into the jack the jack kind of narrows down and pushes them together and then they go up in there where the conductors are Pop it in the crimper. And there's one end done. Alright, I'm going to do the other one and then we'll finish hooking this thing up. Okay, so I've got light burn open and you can see it's connected to my uh, Xtool D1 Pro. Um, using the USB extender. So, uh, yeah, excellent.